Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go ahead and update a coin called KDA or Kadena. Um, that's a coin that uh, I actually like that coin from a fundamental point of view. Also, too, I do like it. But we take a look at that real quick. I wanted to go over and review a couple things here with Binance. Um, and this is under the assumption that uh, good old CZ over there is not playing any games. So let's make that assumption. Uh, I'm not saying it's true or not because we just don't know. But let's make the assumption that he is the uh, the white knight, like everybody in crypto is calling him now. Probably not, probably not. But let's say he's everything tight with his coin and it's uh, good to go. And his business, his exchange, and everything. Um, I don't want it. I want it to be good, guys. I mean, honestly, I want him to be what he says he is. That's really. I mean, it would be nice for once, wouldn't it? It would be nice for once. So, and by the way. Do me a huge favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to get updates from my channel, I do go over some uh, other coins from time to time, and even some degenerate stuff, if you get interested in something like that. So, just saying. Hit the uh, notification bell. So, here we got uh, Binance coin. I'm going to just go over this real brief. And I know, with 100% certainty, that Binance coin did not complete a fifth wave, okay? I am not willing to say that this is a failed fifth wave after making a wave one like that, coming back around and making a third wave all the way up here. And just to say, oh, you know, we're not bullish anymore. We're just bearish. Um, you know, didn't work out. Didn't work out. We gotta go bearish now. I'm not buying it, guys. I'm just not buying it. So Binance coin has not completed its fifth wave. It's not done. So what is that telling me? It's telling me the Binance is probably going to complete that fifth wave, just like Matic, just like Quant, kind of like the last wave possibly on Ethereum and Bitcoin at some point. So let's go back over to Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin has one more leg down, guys. This is what I'm looking at. One more leg down, as long as it holds that 13,896. Um, I'll be okay with the wick through there, but it prefer not to have anything through there. And that's it. That's what I would be looking for. You'll have bullish divergence um, on this wave. From this wave to that wave coming down here, you have bullish divergence on the daily. You should. And then you'll have bullish divergence over here from this uh, 17.6 low to the low over here, okay? I'll show you. From that low over to here. So you see this area on the RSI, it should come down. It shouldn't breach that, and you'll have divergence telling you that would be the fifth wave, and that would be finishing something right here, okay? So that's what I'm going to be looking for with Bitcoin. The more I'm looking at it, the more I'm looking at other altcoins, like. There's some coins that probably have already bottomed, just an FYI, guys, that appears so. Don't know yet. Don't have 100% confirmations. No guarantees. Remember that. Trades do not go as planned. Remember that, too. Like some people, I put like lines on a chart, and some guys come along in here, and they expect the candles bodies to follow my lines. It, it doesn't quite work like that. I wish I was uh, able to do something like that, but no, nah, it's not going to work like that. So here we got KDA, guys. KDA in a massive downtrend. And actually, uh, my original target on KDA was 95 cents, but now it's below it. It hit 81 cents, I think, or something like that. And now it's at 88 cents or 90 cents. Um, KDA, just based off that chart and that structure right there, is uh, as, long as, it stay, as long as it's in that box and you don't see uh, massive candle bodies like daily or weekly candle bodies below that box, it should be okay, in my opinion. Should be okay. I'm going to take it off log. I'll show you got this trend line here. You're probably wondering what that is. I'm going to show you something. You see, if you take it off log right here with KDA, it touched it and it went down to that trend. Okay. Was that it? Don't know. Don't know. But just be aware. I'll be, yeah, be aware of that it could come down to these areas. Just like so, guys. 
Okay. And uh, I was a little concerned with this wave that it was doing. Okay. Just because, you know, just it's, it's a long wave. It's 97, almost 98% drop over here. Um, but they had a similar one, like right here, kind of, this was a little bit on a smaller scale, a little bit similar. So I do think that is, uh, in my opinion, it's in a, uh, possibly accumulation zone. I don't think it's going to rip out of there anytime soon, just because KDA has gone down out of here like this, but it'll be down here. And, and once the market goes bullish, whenever that may be. It may be a little bit. So what do I would what would I do? I would not like go heavy in it. I'm not right now. I like the coin, but I'm not going to go heavy in it because I don't think it's going to be coming out of the gate like say a quant or a manic. Okay. So when you think the time may be coming, then you can start adding more to the to your uh, position, if you will. That's what I'll be doing. The only other issue that I have on the weekly is it came down and did take that out on the divergence. So you can see it took out the uh, the bullish divergence it had at one point, and now it's all out. So that is a uh, signal that it could drop further. So you want to be aware of that right here in that area. So KDA. But I do think that this is uh, going to be the wave pattern eventually at some point. Here's KDA on that massive third wave. And then this is a uh, massive fourth wave. And some, some right over here, right over here at some point, guys. Um, checking out the RSI, highest peak on the RSI. So here's a wave or possibly I could be uh, wrong on that. This could be the whole wave sequence. Like this was a wave sequence like this, you know, diagonals can do like this. Here's your ABC type move like that. And then maybe it could be doing uh, something over here once it gets uh, prepped, something like that. And maybe it's not going to be an expanding diagonal. That might just become something, you know, more like a uh, a contracting diagonal or wedge, if you will. So you want to be aware of that. Just when the waves start getting out of there, you have to keep track of the waves. But we're not there yet. The time comes. I'll I'll be uh, keeping my eye on KDA. So going back to, let me see, where's my box? My box is somewhere. I thought I had a box on there. It's not showing up. Not showing up. Where'd my box go? Um, this area right in here, where did it drop to? KDA right now is dropped to that area right there. Um, that's the bottom where it wicked down to, and it does look like. Let me take a look at a four hour. Possibly an extended wave. There's a fifth wave, but is that the fifth wave of the third wave? And it's in a fourth wave, and it might bust through there. It might have one more to go in that wave right there. So probably right down below it, 79 cents. And I know the number that I came up with, the uh, price I came up with, if it breaches below 70 cents. And here's why. I'll show you, right? I think it was this area like this. More or less. Okay, no, it tagged it right there at 81. And then I brought it down to, yeah, like 70 cents, guys. I would start to get maybe a little bit more concerned with KDA, okay? So it can come back around on that wave right here. You see this wave and it come back around, complete that wave, and then you want to see the reaction out there with KDA if you don't want to uh, catch a falling knife, if you will, right now. That's how I would do it. Um, like I said, I still have KDA, guys. I'm I'm uh, thinking that once KDA, uh, like I said, market just goes a little bit bullish, you know, even if I think even if Bitcoin is at a bottom and it's down there at the bottom, let's say Bitcoin finds a bottom at say 14K and it's just in there doing this, you know, now Bitcoin's at a bottom. Okay. And it's not like going bullish up yet. You know, some of these alts will be able to rip in my opinion. So like energy web token, uh, exit out of that too early. It keeps on going up. Some of those other alts, Casper coin, uh, quant, you know, we'll be able to, they'll be able to rip, even though Bitcoin will be going up and then down and maybe up and then down. That's one I'm kind of be looking for if perhaps Bitcoin makes a bottom. All right, guys, that's the end of my video. If you made it all the way to then, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.